Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday the 9th of December. It's really good to be able to share Evening Prayer together. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm 14 The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. Corrupt are they and abominable in their wickedness. There is no one that does good. The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the children of earth to see if anyone is wise and seeks after God. But everyone has turned back. All alike have become corrupt. There is none that does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, those evildoers, who eat up my people as if they ate bread and do not call upon the Lord? There shall be. They be in great fear, for God is in the company of the righteous. Though they would confound the counsel of the poor, yet the Lord shall be their refuge. O oh, that Israel's salvation would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, then will Jacob rejoice, and Israel be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 31. We're still in this period where politically, at the time that Isaiah was prophesying, there were questions in his nation about whether they should be diplomatically tied and involved in a, a military alliance with Egypt. But, God was speaking not just about that fruitless alliance, but also about allying ourselves with the works of the slavery of sin uh, and in the modern day. That would essentially be the church being like the world. Romans 12 tells us not to conform to the pattern of this world, to be, be, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And with that background, let's read Isaiah 31. Alas for those who go down to Egypt for help and rely on horses, who trust in chariots because they are many, and in the horsemen because they are very strong, but do not look to the Holy One of Israel or consult the Lord. Yet he too is wise and brings destruction. He does not call back his words, but will rise against the house of the evildoers and against the helpers of those who work iniquity. The Egyptians are human and not God. Their horses are flesh and not spirit. When the Lord stretches out his hand, the helper will stumble and the one who helped will fall and they will all perish together. For thus the Lord said to me, as a lion or a young lion growls over its prey, and when a band of shepherds is called out against it, it is not terrified by their shouting or daunted by their noise. So the Lord of hosts will come down to fight upon Mount Zion and upon its hill. Like birds hovering overhead, so the Lord of hosts will protect Jerusalem. He will protect and deliver it. He will spare and rescue it. Turn back to him, whom you have deeply betrayed, O people of Israel. For on that day all of you shall throw away your idols of silver and your idols of gold, which your hands have sinfully made for you. Then the Assyrians shall fall by a sword, not of mortals. And a sword, not of humans, shall devour him. He shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be put to forced labour. 
his rock shall pass away in terror and his officers desert the standard in panic, says the Lord. His fire is in Zion and his furnace is in Jerusalem. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great God of wisdom, great God of mercy, give of me your fullness at the turning of each pass. Great God of shielding, great God of surrounding, give me your surrounding for the Lord is my strong tower. May I tread the path to the gates of glory. Give me of your holiness and your peace in the walk of faith. Rule this heart of mine that I may be only yours. God's path would I travel, my own path refuse. May I tread your path to the gates of glory. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We pray to the Lord. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God that all that we have done and the people we've met today may bring us closer to you. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that we may follow wherever you lead. Let our attention be drawn to those things that we need to see and let our ears be unstopped to those things that we need to hear. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed and anxious. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom to grow. Let the Holy Spirit fall, bringing his gifts, his fruits and Christ's rule and reign. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God. We pray that the infection rate for COVID-19 will keep on falling. We bring before the Lord especially those areas where COVID-19 actually rose during the lockdown. We pray that those areas which are in Tier 3 will be particularly disciplined so that they can get out of Tier 3 and have a more pleasant form of existence. We pray that those in Tier 2 will be very disciplined about the way in which they behave, that's most of us, so that we can all see our infection rates continue to fall. And we pray that we will have a happy Christmas, but also be careful enough to ensure that we don't see a rise in hospitalisation and deaths in the new year. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray in this time of Advent that we will be able to focus upon the Lord and not just upon preparations for Christmas or disappointments about what we can't do. Pray that the Lord will grant us grace to look positively to his light and to his love and to his nature and our relationship with him may deepen at this time. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. And we pray that the Lord will deliver those who are having a really bad time right now. People in Redditch that are being abused. People in Redditch who are suffering from depression. People in Redditch who are 
hurting their own lives by their actions. People in Redditch who just need Jesus and can feel the pain of a Jesus-shaped hole in their heart. Have mercy upon them, O Lord, and lead them to your light. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us, and with great might succour us, that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May you see the love of God in Jesus with new clarity. May your eyes be lifted from your sins to the cross, where he bore them away for you. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.